What's going on, y'all? Cut your K back here for another freaking video. <clears throat> My throat hurts right now, so I'm going to try and keep it down while I'm doing this. But, uh, as usually, we got some Copenhagen wintergreen up in here. I'm going to pack this, and then we're going to start on uh, talking about what we got to talk about today. All right. Here's the thing. All right. Most of y'all, if not all of y'all, that are watching this video right now, have probably heard about what happened in Charlottesville, in my home state of Virginia. Now. I don't have all the facts on this, so you're going to have to bear with me here. All that I know is that I was all over Facebook this morning and yesterday, by the way. But I was out yesterday, so I couldn't really do anything about it. But I saw that there was the clan there. And a huge brawl between the, like protesters and some other people happened. And then I saw something about someone got ran over by a car. A car just plunged right through there. And shit is getting out of hand. I mean, here's the thing, okay? I know I say that in every video, here's the thing. But the problem with America is let me let me put it to you this way. If the Klan never existed, we would never have any problems with people thinking we're racist. Like us, meaning rednecks, country folks, anyone that basically waves the Confederate flag over there will never be deemed racist. It's, honestly, I think that's actually how it will go. The Klan never existed. I believe that's how it will go. And I want to make something perfectly clear. I do not stand with the Klan. I do not stand for what they believe in. I do not want this country to be all white I don't even want the white supremacists to be here okay at all okay the clan and everyone who associates with them get the fuck out of this country it's just how it is and uh I saw something on Facebook that said the Klan is a terrorist group and we should take care of them as such, right? Meaning we should exterminate them. I don't know what the fuck is going on with people, but this I actually agree with, okay? The Klan is a terrorist group. They are an extremist terrorist group. Have them in almost every form of life. You got ISIS, who is an Islamic terrorist group. You got the Klan, which is American terrorist group. Pretty sure you got some in other countries too. But nothing as big as ISIS and the Klan. 
you might have people protesting about Trump, but and it doesn't compare to what the Klan has been doing for almost 50 years, okay? Sure, they went into hiding for a little bit until Trump became president. I don't like the fact that they make every fucking Trump supporter look like a racist. Okay? I don't like that. I'm a Trump supporter. I'm not racist. Okay? I'll put it plain and simple. I'm not racist. I love this country. I love where it's going. But I don't like the people that are in it. Okay? That being said, that doesn't mean I hate Mexicans. I don't I don't hate different races, okay? I hate the people that protest over nothing. I get what the clan was trying to do. Actually I don't I don't really get it, but but here's the thing. I don't like the fact that the clan was waving my my pride. The uh, Confederate flag? Yeah, they were waving it. I don't like the fact that they were doing that. I'm getting real sick and tired of that shit. If the clam wants something to do with that flag, then maybe you should put a little respect to that flag. Make it something that people will like. And when people talk about what happened in Charlottesville, This is how another civil war begins. It's not black versus white. It's not Republican versus Democrat. It is the people that disagree. Honestly, I think it's going to be, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I believe that it is going to be white supremacists versus, you know, Americans. Now I'm not, I'm not jumping ship and saying that what <clears throat> that what the liberals have done is right. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that. The Klan has gone too far and that it was not right for them to be there and it was not right for them to just have a rally and all that stuff, you know. So I'm not going... Honestly... I'd rather stay home, but it hurts. It hurts me the way this country is falling apart. Like I saw something. Liberals are mad at Trump because he he had a meeting about the Charlottesville. But it was like an hour later than when it happened. An hour or two later. And I'm mad about that. Well, if you're mad that Trump... You should be lucky he even did the meeting. 
okay? He could have swerved and said, nah, I got a lot on my plate right now. I don't feel like doing it. But no, he actually did it. You got to put the people first before you can take care of the country. And we got to take care of each other first before we worry about flags and everything. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that what both sides, the liberals and the Klan, I'm not saying that's right. I'm just saying we got to get our shit together as a country. It's going to be like this for four years if we don't quit this shit. Or maybe even eight. Just because Trump is president does not give you the right. I get that we have free speech. But this shit, it's just over the line. It's over the line. Stupid as crap. So why don't we stop protesting, the Klan stop having rallies, and we put our heads together as a country, try to make this right. Well, here's the thing, if we don't, and another civil war starts because of this shit, staying home I don't care who's fighting for what who believes in what I'm staying home I'm not getting involved in this country it's going downhill just remember I'm country K always remember if I could dip in your lip and some chaw on your jaw I'll see you on next time